order to lease them or teach men so will in no wise enter into the kingdom. Now, you do whatever you want to do with it. Go ahead and read on. At the end of 15. Go ahead. For to making himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Go ahead. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body. Well, well the Gentiles need to be reconciled. Yep. Well, Israel need to be reconciled too. Everybody needed to be reconciled because everybody had gotten away. Go ahead and read on. That he might reconcile in one new man. Go ahead and read on. He said, by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. That might reconcile by the cross. And how did he reconcile? By dying for his sin. Because everybody was in trouble. Everybody was under the death sentence and everybody needed to be reconciled. And he did that when he died on the cross. Go ahead and read on. And came and preached peace. To you which were far off, uh -huh. and to them that were not. Go ahead and read. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Uh -huh. Now therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners. See what it said? Now therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners. Go ahead and read. But fellow citizens with the saints. Uh-huh. And of the household of God. And of the household of God. Now he said, you know, you, now we have become one together. You know, we've been reconciled together. You understand what I'm saying? You know, now, now you have become a part of the commonwealth of Israel, a part of the household of God. Let's go now to, uh, let's, he, he said it to the Romans. He put it slightly different. Let's go to Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11. We're going to kind of skip about here a little bit, but you can read it all on your own time. I'm just trying to make one point here. Uh, uh, Romans chapter 11 and first I want you to read the 13th verse Romans 11 and uh, we'll pick it up at verse 13 11 and verse 13 verse 13 go ahead and read for I speak to you Gentiles uh -huh. and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles I magnify mine office. Back up, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, I am. Pick it up at uh, verse 1. I, I just got to read this, I, you know. Because I know you hear it sometime. You do hear it sometime. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and they got a lot of people convinced that, you know, God has taken everything out of Israel's hand and he's put it in the hand of the Gentile. Mm -hmm. But... The apostle to the Gentile, listen to what he said. Go ahead and read on. I say then, have God cast away his people? Uh huh. God forbid. Go ahead. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. Go ahead. God have not cast away his people which he foreknew. Now, so I just wanted to read that. So now, he's making it clear here that God did not cast away Israel. He just brought the Gentiles in. Pick it up at verse 13 now. Go ahead and read. Verse 13. For I speak to you Gentiles, uh -huh. inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, Go ahead. I magnify my office. Now, skip down to uh, 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 verse 16. Go ahead and read. For if... The first fruit be holy. Uh -huh. The lump is also holy. Now, who is the first fruit? That is Israel. He said the lump is also holy. Go ahead and read. And if the root be holy, uh -huh. so are the branches. Now, he said if the root be holy, then so are the branches. Who is the root? That is the Lord here. He said if it be holy, then so are the branches. Go ahead and read on. And if some of the branches be broken off, uh -huh. and thou, being a wild other tree, were grafted in among them, and with them partakers of the root, and fatness of the olive tree. Now, he's just letting you know that, you know, the Gentiles, they have been grafted in mm -hmm. to the olive tree. Not a different olive tree. One olive tree. You just have been grafted in to this same olive tree. Skip down now to uh, verse 24 and continue to read. For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, uh -huh. and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, uh -huh. how much more shall these which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree. Oh, you then you know that some of uh, Israel was broken off, but they can be grafted back into their olive tree. I'm not concerned with that. Go ahead and read on. For I would not, brethren, uh -huh. that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Go ahead. Least you should be wise in your own conceit. Now he said, I want you to be ignorant of this mystery. Least you be wise in your own mind. Go ahead and read on. 
the blindness in part uh-huh. is happened to Israel. Go ahead. Until the fullness of the Gentiles become in. Go ahead and read. And so all Israel shall be saved. And so who all shall be saved? And Is, so all Israel, Israel shall, shall be saved. saved. This is the church here that we're looking at. But it is made up of natural born Israel. And it is made up of the Gentiles that have been grafted in as well. And then, But look at what he called. And then shall all Israel be saved. Go ahead and read on. As it is written, uh-huh. there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, go ahead. and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Now let's go to uh, let's let's go to uh, 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 Galatians chapter six. Galatians chapter six. Galatians chapter six, and we'll begin reading at verse nine. Galatians six. And we'll pick it up at very now. I just want you to understand that the church is Israel. You know, you got natural born Israel, but then you have the church, and they too are Israel. But they are spiritual Israel. Whether they be natural born Israel, that's to turn to the Lord and become spiritual Israel, or whether they be Gentiles, that's to turn to the Lord and become spiritual Israel. Hold on one minute here. Before we get there, I got to interject this. Let's go to Galatians chapter 3 first. Because we read uh, 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 earlier that, you know, we, we, we are the children of God, didn't we? We read that, didn't we? Pick it up at verse 26. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26. Go ahead and read. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Now, you know, we read in Ephesians that, you know, we are all... Are on the one by Jesus Christ, right? Mm-hmm. Now he said, You are all of the children of God in faith in Jesus Christ. Go ahead and read on. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Go ahead. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Yes, it is. It's still Jews. It's still Greeks in the flesh. But he ain't dealing with the flesh here. Go ahead and read on. There is neither bond nor free. And you know there's bond and there's free. Go ahead and read on. There is neither male nor female. And you look around you, you still see males and you still see females. But, you know, he's dealing on the spiritual side here. Go ahead and read on. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Go ahead. And if ye be Christ, uh-huh. then are ye Abraham's seed. Wait a minute. He said, and if ye be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed. Go ahead and read on. And heirs according to the promise. And heirs according to the promise. If you be Christ, then are you. You remember them Jews telling Jesus we be Abraham's seed? And Jesus said, I know who you are, man. You ain't got to tell me. He said, but you are really of your father the devil. You Abraham's seed in the flesh. But in the spirit, you are of your father the devil. Why? Because that is you do the works of the devil. So now, if we be Christ, then are we Abraham's seed. Now let's go to Galatians chapter 6. And we'll pick it up at verse 9. I'm still want to show you that the church is Israel. Whoever is a part of it, they are Israel. And that is who God is married to. Start reading at verse 9. Go ahead and read. And let us not be weary in Uh well-doing. For in due season we shall reap. If we faint not. He's just, just telling you, you know, don't be, sometimes you get weary in well doing. You know, you walking in righteousness and your life still ain't, ain't flowing like a. Uh